What's up, Stokers of Stoke Nation? This is Chad Kroger coming in with the Going Deep Chad JT podcast. Coming to you live with episode 78. Nine? Something. We're right. up there, dude. You guys should know the number. Nah, dude. I don't <clears throat> care about I don't do numbers. Um, I'm here with my compadre, Jean Thomas. What up? What up, dudes? Boom clap. Um, we're here with the hog master himself, the, uh, the master of dong. And the master of stoicism, Joe Marisi, what up? Hey, what's up? Nice, Thanks for dude. having me. Uh, it's been a while since I've been on. You guys have uh, been big time in me, and uh, it's good to be back. Oh, man. Dude, coming in firing. <laughs> Were you holding that in for a while? No, I just, uh, you know, I've, I'm, I've been busy. It's okay. Um, uh, I was just talking to your girlfriend, actually. Where? Uh, on Instagram. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. What did you guys talk about? <laughs> I was hoping you would ask. Um, she asked me uh, if I was working Saturday, and I am. She's coming to the comedy store with uh, a friend. Oh, nice. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And then I accidentally hit the video chat button. You dog. Um, did you guys video chat? No, she didn't pick up. You like <laughs> Wait, which is nice. kind of insulting. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I have, like a, I have like a nervousness in my body. I'm happy you guys are chumming it up, but I'm yeah. ner- but it scares me a little bit. Yeah, it was an accident. I guess the idea of another guy FaceTiming my girlfriend, I'm like, what's going on here? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, that's why I keep the phone. It's, but if, if it stays in my it, pocket, it's, it's too... Did you let the phone ring? Or did you, like, notice and then you hung up right away? Well, I saw it said connecting, and then I tried to minimize it. Oh, you didn't it, mean to do it? And then I, yeah, I didn't mean to do it. Well, I'm not going to video chat your girlfriend. Well, I wasn't sure, but I mean, like... If you guys are getting along good, it's good. I want you guys to be time. I and mean, I always ask you, I'm like, you like her, right? Yeah. Yeah, stop asking me that. Yeah, and then, uh, no, I but I, I'm not going to video chat her. It was an accident. And I gave a ha, ha, ha. And... Yeah, I told her to go to the, the store on Saturday. Because I, I, cause she was thinking about going on, like, Monday or Sunday. I said Saturday would be better. Well, Monday's a good night, too. Um, Sunday, no. I, I would, yeah, I'd go... Are you going? Pretty much every uh, any night except Wednesday uh, or Sunday is good. I don't think so. Wednesday. Oh, we're gonna be gone. Too. Oh yeah, I'm gone. Oh yeah. Yeah, Dude, yeah f- I'm gonna be in San Francisco. I know. Your phone's blowing up. I know. I'm getting a lot of calls. Today's the call-in episode, so uh, Stokers are calling in right now. Calling in a lot. Um, yeah. well, sweet dudes. Good to have you on, Joe. How, how are things going? Uh, things are going good. I've. Uh, Stopped eating late at night. Yeah, how's that going? Are, are you able to maintain that discipline? Yeah. Um. Yeah, because I don't like because uh, uh, when I gain weight, it all goes here. The you know, I look like a s- snake swallowing a mouse. That's you where know? my weight goes. Just too. goes here. Yeah. It's, it's gross. I, I can't look at that up. shit. When you look puffy. Yeah. You know. Are you doing ten minute abs now instead of five? Uh, I was doing eight. Oh, eight minute abs. Yeah, that's a good number. Yeah, there's no five minute abs. Uh, yeah, there's that go. famous uh, something about Mary. Yeah, Sanders. it's like, seven. I got another idea. <clears throat> seven minute abs. Oh, I don't, I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah. No, I just that's do a, a lot of cardio. I'm only doing eight minute abs like one day a week now. Dude, uh, there's something about Mary. One of the, like one of my first memories of childhood was. Uh, watching that with my siblings and the part where he zips up oh he zips up his dong in yeah. the zipper and then the ambulance comes to like unzip it and they're like all right one two we got a bleeder yeah <laughs> yeah that was a fun cut yeah that was good stuff ben stiller's so funny in that movie he's so good and then matt Dillon, the big chompers yeah <laughs> guys my uh <laughs> the one line in, in something about mary that i love the most he's um arguing with norm the pizza delivery guy uh-huh. and then he's like he's like um norm's like oh you think mary's really gonna fall for you some guy who like farts laughs at smelling his own farts and then matt dylan goes you were following us <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah matt dylan's really funny in that yeah dude the like way even you like shake the, that thing bro. like even the 
rice a line. Yeah. <laughs> he said, where does he say I'm, he's going to? I'm, what city? It's I'm like, moving to Miami. Yeah, Miami. <laughs> I work for rice Yeah. For rice a Isn't that the, Isn't San, that the San Francisco yeah. tree? rice a Isn't that the San Francisco That's tree? That's awesome. Yeah, they're expanding. Um, <laughs> dude, my, uh, my brother's what needs a name for his CrossFit team. Yeah. And I thought maybe we could brainstorm some ideas. What? Look, yeah. It's him and two other dudes. They're going to lift heavy. How about the they're lame gonna... asses? No, that's <laughs> not going to work. What about the... I'll let him know. What about the squat squadron? Squat squadron? I said Joe Rogan sauna. How about, Ooh, I like that. How about the lightweights? Elk meat. What? The lightweights? I like yeah, that. like throw off your competitors. Yeah. The squat squadron, you said? Yeah, the disciples of the... Or deadlift disciples. I said Moby Huge. I said Brad Pitt's tan. I like that. And my brother's like, what does that mean? Why Brad Pitt's tan? I'm like, because it's inspiring. Yeah, it's pretty funny, actually. Yeah, yeah. Take that, Bill. It's actually funny. Yeah, Bill. Or Brad Pitt's hair. Brad Pitt's hair. Brad Pitt's jawline. Brad Pitt. (laughs) We just only send Brad Pitt. I think just call the team Brad Pitt. Yeah, just Brad Pitt. Pitt. That's pretty good. (laughs) Uh, my struggle, my struggle. Uh, not a Hitler reference. Reference to this book by Karl Ove Nosberg. Nosgard, sorry, dude. Um, I was thinking maybe like I was like elk meat, bacon wrapped sausage, um, stuffing, sweet stuffing. potato. You got blue on your Thanksgiving dinner. I got blue on me. From the blue drink, yeah. Um, what I mean, what is a what is a CrossFit team? You know, it's a group of guys and gals who yeah. are jacked and love moving heavy stuff. Yeah, on their, but on I, their, in their time off, maybe the getting after it. Yeah, but you <laughs> you got to send a message to your uh, your op. to your opponent. So I'm like, you know, I I was in the shower just brainstorming. And I'm like, you know what? Like, if they sent like a message, like, oh, these guys are like. You know, like if they went with a name like Compassionate Dudes, that would sort of make the other team underestimate them. Wait, there's like competitions? That. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Compassionate Dudes or the I, Tank Destructors. I thought CrossFit was just like a training thing. I didn't know you could compete. Well, you, you, oh, yeah, there's, you the, can, there's the CrossFit Olympics and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I feel like I've heard of that. I went now. to it in San Diego. My buddy Ferraro competed. Yeah. So badass, dude. I, I was going to tell uh, I was gonna tell my brother Joe's hog, but... I don't think Joe's hog is famous enough yet. Well, give it a people, give it a run, give it a tell them the workshop. It. Would you would you want people to name their CrossFit teams after your dick? I don't think so. <laughs> would you want them to name them after you in general? <laughs> yeah, they could do that. Yeah, the other, people the other are like, things. Will... I'm a lift deadlifts like Joe does laundry. Yeah, yeah. If I could be an inspiration, that'd be cool. What yeah. about household chores for their name? I like that. Yeah. Lateral raises. Squats, deadlifts. I'm just circling the wagon again. Is that a... Are you allowed to say circling the wagon? Heavy guitar riffs. What do you mean, I are you know. allowed? Who can offend the people of the Oregon Trail? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I said Oregon. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, don't, well, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I was like nervous that maybe like uh, circling the wagon was something that like uh, cluster like uh, that like U.S. soldiers used to do to like Native Americans or something. Mm, I don't know. I think you're right. All right, I'm saying I, I did also P Diddy P Diddy P Diddy's yacht. I like that. Yeah, that's good stuff. All right, thanks, dudes. I'm gonna send this their way. Maybe like team of rivals. Team of rivals. Checks and balances. It's not bad. Synergy. My dad's nuts. What about, what about <laughs> my dad's nuts? Warren Buffett's. Uh, Warren Buff- with foresight. Warren Buffett's investment team. <laughs> yeah. Warren Buffett's advisors. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ladanian Tomlinson's training staff. <laughs> That's what we do. 
I think you got a lot of suggestions. Dude, I was thinking about this too. What would be your guys' um, death row meal? Like, you know, you get one meal of your choosing before they kill you. What would you go People with? keep asking me that. Did you ask me that recently? No. That's a good question. Why is that a topic of conversation? I thought of it because I was like, I've been so into my diet lately. I was like, would my last meal still be keto? You got to stick with it. Yeah. No. Because I don't want to feel all foggy and like kind of bloated when they... uh. Yeah, you don't want to feel bad about yourself when you're getting electrocuted. Yeah. You yeah. don't? No, I want to no. be like, all right, later, dudes. Yeah. Like you're amped. Yeah, exactly. And then after they'll be like, man, maybe we shouldn't have killed JT. He was like kind of a he had good energy. And I think if you're amped enough, they can't kill you. Yeah, dude. Like you just are electricity and it just runs through your body. That's real. Yeah, there you go. That's, That's real. Like they lethally inject you and you just fucking take a nice nap and you wake up and then you escape and you move to the uh, Florida Keys. I, I heard when they were going to execute Ted Bundy, like the executioner was like really struggling. He's like, he's so charismatic. Right. And they're like, don't forget what he did. And he's like, all right, fine. Just plunged himself. <laughs> yeah. We talked about executioners last week too. It's a heavy topic. Yeah. It deserves to be considered in more than one episode. Joe, what else is up, dog? How you been, man? Pretty good. Uh, did my hair in the bathroom. Uh, about it. <laughs> what's what's been going you, on in the home front? Yeah. Do you not do your hair in the bathroom usually? No, I mean here. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, it looks <clears> good. <throat> Have we had any big developments at the apartment lately? We saw Joe in the future today. There yeah, was that this was this eighty-five-year-old guy outside. Yeah, I just that sitting too. in a, a walker, just watching guys do construction on his building, and he was just watching him from three feet away. Yeah, it was hilarious. <laughs> Took a picture of the guy, <laughs> and Joe sees him, and Joe goes, "That's me in fifty years." <laughs> Which is what I had been yeah, thinking, Yeah, just too. monitoring the what's going on. And I you're, sent it to the group chat I'm in. And they, of everyone in our building, left. you're probably closest with the uh, landlord and and, biz, and building owner, Ilya. Yeah, probably. I mean... Who's in the group chat? There's some different comics. Um, All right. <laughs> I've heard you call yourself Ilya's eyes and ears. <laughs> Well, I like to be I like to be on on guard, you know. We got some new cute neighbors. That's exciting. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah, they are, but they're you know, they're what? A little young. Yeah. How young? They're like, uh, I think like barely twenty one, twenty two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's too young. Do I sound like a creep? No. All right. Kind of. No. Um, Damn it. You're a creep, dude. Well, the guys who lived there before were like the most evil, was one of the most evil guys I had ever Yeah, had. these girls, I got to say, brought a fresh young energy. They have a cat. That just walks around and it's kind of nice to pet. Yeah, it's kind of, well, I'm not going to touch him because he wanders around outside, so. Right. But smart. yeah, but yeah, if you want to touch him and get his germs. Dude, I got a post-it on my door from our uh, neighbor. It's like, please don't slam the door. I'm like, I see you like multiple times a day. No, I, I agree with that, though. Say, There's too much slamming of doors. I don't really you slam do that the a door. Lot. I slam the door a lot? Yeah, it's just when you're leaving, just close the door. Don't don't throw the door and walk out. Like, you have a second. You're right, I do. Just like, close You're talking it. the front door, the gate one? Because I'm a bad yeah the, me, yeah, the metal one. I mean, I come out like, can't stop addicted to the shindig. That Red Hot Chili Pepper song is just blasting him. Like, I shouldn't hear, I shouldn't not hear actually, that screen I, door slam from my bed. You hear, this, you hear the back door when I leave? No, the, 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 front, about the, the front, front metal door. The front gate door, right. I do slam the fuck out of that thing. And that's probably, and Greg's even closer to it. Dude, I, uh, maybe I'll just respond to the post and just be like, I'm busy. Yeah, you know, but I would just tell him. <laughs> yeah, if I would you don't just have say, time, "Hey, yeah, close the door, nice." He must be on the run a lot. Yeah, that's what I was just or saying. on the go, not on the run. You're not a fugitive. All right, guys, today we're doing a call-in episode, so we're gonna take some calls from some stokers and uh, see what they want to chat about. Sounds fun. Hello. 
No, no, nothing. Don't worry about it. Hello? Uh, Aaron, hey, will hey, this play on the, the recording that people get? Yeah. Oh, okay. Even though I can't hear it out loud? Put it, you can hear it on the headphones. Yeah. Hey, man, what's up? Welcome to Going Deep with Chad and JT. What's up, dude? Hey, what up, dude? I'm a huge, huge stoker here, so how you guys doing? Good. Good. How are you? You got Joe here, too. Hey, man, what's up? Oh, Joe, what's going on, bro? How you doing? Good, good. What's happening? All right, so uh, should I just get into the question? Yeah, 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 please. Dive in. All right, so uh, here, here we go. So I'm actually at a prom right now. This one of my family friends had asked me to go last minute because she couldn't find a date. And it's just a lot of people that I just don't know, not looking forward to it. So I'm just looking for your guys' advice on how to just, you know, mingle, mingle a little bit, get, get some, some good convos, and, you know, maybe have a good time instead of what I'm expecting. At the prom, at, at this prom? Yeah, this is. It's, it's prom with, like, my, uh, my parents have friends, and it's their daughter, and they asked, she, she asked me to go. Right. And I was kind of forced into uh, it, you know? Here's what I would do. I would, um, come in chill super chill like i don't think i'd talk for like the first 45 minutes just shake hands say hello to everybody get kind of a lay of the land then once you've kind of made out who everybody is in the group you know you see what roles they fill kind of what their interests are and what kind of conversation they like to have you start going at them one at a time like when there's slow moments yeah, yeah. and they're off by themselves you go up you start chatting to them you find out what they're interested in you talk for a couple minutes and then you keep it moving and then i think from there you'll have built a nice foundation and then it'll just be smooth sailing all right for sure for sure i'd like to propose another tactic if i may i'm thinking dude you got to make your presence known and you got to make it infectious so you go straight for that dance floor and you rip it Dude, up. you hit that dance floor. Yeah, just, that's, that's, just, that's my, honestly, that was my plan. I think I'm going to go with that. Just rip it nice. up. You know, tear it for up. For sure, for sure. Get it going. Everyone remembers the first guy who starts dancing and gets everyone moving. And you could be that guy. This is a huge moment for you. You think? <laughs> well, yeah, you know what? I think you're right, Chad. Yeah, take take this moment and grab it by Joe's balls. <laughs> Nice. I, I mean, I, I would say be the silent observer, like how JT said. But you got to go with go with what your guts tell. Yeah, that's true. Your gut is the ultimate determining factor. All right, for sure, for sure. But don't grab Joe's balls, like you said, Chad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, I just his metaphorical balls, and, just because they're huge. And you know what, dude? Focus on <laughs> making sure your date's having a good time, because this night's really about her. So I would. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I would uh, make sure that you're like the best date you can be. Yeah, good call. Good call. Because you're right, not sure. Cause <laughs> it is cool if you're cool, but if you're too cool, you know, you might not have time for it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. Thanks, All right, dude. Thanks, thanks, dude. Later, I dude. Peace. Have yeah, a good one. See you, bro. Bye. All right. Dude, great a breeze by that guy. Quesh, a preach. He's that, a smart kid. Dude. That dude was 37, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Aaron, do you know him? He sounded familiar. So we're you're calling people, so it's not call-ins. We're calling them. That's cool. Well, just when no one's <laughs> when no one's calling in in the moment. Oh, hey, what's up? This is JT from Going Deep with Chad and JT. Can I put you on the podcast? What's up, dude? All right, man, you're on with Chad and JT. What up, dude? What up, Chad? How you doing? We got Joe here. Hey, man. What up, Uncle Joe? What's up? Start talking. All right, boys. <laughs> right, boy. So I'm down in uh, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, where the famous Dollywood Amusement Park is. And uh, my mission the whole week has just been to find Dolly and marry Dolly. Nice. So I've gone to all, all the uh, all the ladies, all the sweet, nice employees, give them a little dance, give them a little tango, ask them a couple questions, and I know they have Dolly locked up somewhere. They what is Dolly? Dolly? Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton, famous uh, oh. country. Oh, music. right, right, sure, sure. Yeah, Jolene. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Jolene, that's the one. And uh, so I'm asking them all, and I need to find Dolly. She has, she's unfortunately married, but this young, this young buck's gonna end that. Um, I that. I just need some help on trying to pursue her and trying to get her out of her cage. Aaron, Aaron's got gotcha. you. This is Aaron, the sound guy. Uh, word on the street is. <laughs> uh, She's n she's uh actually quietly uh not into dudes. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. 
There you have it, man. Aaron nice. just threw a big wrench in there. But, dude, I don't think that should keep you from pursuing a lifelong friendship with Dolly. So stay yeah. on your track. Yeah, yeah. Your your passion for her is palpable. So, you know, I, I think you got to pursue this as much as you can. You know, maybe if the employees aren't giving it up, you do a huge grand gesture. You know, maybe you freaking skydive into Dolly, La Dolly Land or something. I will make Dolly love me, boys. Nice. I, I like the good. Stay conviction. committed, dog. Yeah. Yeah. That's also a, that's also a lyric. Thanks, boys. I just want to say, oh, you're nice. Rage. Thanks, man. Thanks for calling in. We really appreciate it. Of course, of course. Y'all have a good one. You too. Uh, yeah, you too. Thanks for calling. Mind if I say that? No, I love it, Joe. You can say anything you want. Yeah, I've I don't know what he was talking about. I've heard Dolly Parton. Uh, yeah, is actually quietly a lesbian and has full sleeve tattoos nice. that's why she always wears long sleeves oh wow hey what's up man this is jt from going deep with chad and jt can i put you on the podcast hey what's up man you're on with chad and jt what's good boys is strider there no unfortunately he's not he's uh on a vacation with his khaleesi joe's cool. here what's up joe hey man what's happening so uh i basically just had a question on so I'm from Florida, go to school there, and like I uh, was looking for some tips on what to do when there's no waves, how to have fun, stuff like that, because the boys' stoke levels just, they just drop drastically when there's no waves, I mean, especially in the summertime. You got to stoke your other passions. I mean, sometimes external factors are going to cut into the joy that we normally have, but we got to find a way to fill that joy back up. So, I mean, whether it's skating BMXing, playing vids, kicking it with your boys and having an honest conversation. Whatever it is, you got to just do more just of that. bronzing. Yeah, what do you like more. to do other than surf? I mean, surf, party. <laughs> how much? pretty you, much it. How much are you partying? <laughs> not too much. Not too much. School, too. So, what's, what's it's a, a good bound. What's a, I'm curious, though. What's a rager look like? What are we doing? Uh, it depends. If it's, if it's the week... Probably just hanging out at the boys' house, you know, just chilling. But if it's a weekend, you know, hit up some bars, hit up some clubs. You know how it goes down. Yeah, for sure. Maybe, maybe uh, hit up Miami. Maybe get a little more innovative with your partying, you know. Uh, try some different games. Throw in some uh, flip cup in there, but maybe you put like a little twist on it, like flip cup near a cliff. No, don't do that. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, or maybe just watch Point Break and do what they do. What for you, sure, for sure, dude. What are you studying? I'm doing ocean engineering. Oh, nice. nice. Oh, Lord attack. What do you want to do with that? I'm not 100% sure yet, but Hunter maybe draws. like naval architecture, something like that. Oh, that's yeah. what my brother's doing. Word. Yeah. He's on a barge with a hard hat right now, just flexing. <laughs> <laughs> word word all right man all right, well, well i'm I, just gonna give can i give a shout out to a couple of my boys yeah oh, for sure all right shout out chris shout out max shout out my boy liam and caleb word how oh, they sound like good guys yeah for sure dude all right later dog he's out we were getting a call coming in yeah it been fun to take the call <clears throat> well, we're gonna call him right back if the person doesn't answer, that's embarrassing, right? I can cut it. Hey, what's up, man? This is JT from uh, Going Deep with Chad and JT. Can I put you on the pod? Hey, you're on. With... How we doing? <laughs> hey, you're on with Chad and JT. What's, what's up, on, boys? What's up, Chad, JT? What's up, Uncle Joe? Hey, what's, what's up? up? Yeah, what's up, Joe dude? As well. I gotta start including. Joe, that. we're kind of from the Midwest. We're from Michigan. Oh, great! Yeah, I'm from from the I'm from the Chicago area. Yeah, I know that. Pick it up from the pod. Oh, I gotta say, go Red Wings, though. Sorry, Uncle Joe. No, that's cool. I respect them. Hey, so let's get into it, boys. What's up? All right, so me and Brad. I'm Mitch, by the way. I got Brad here. What We're up? Kind of here. I just graduated college. Nice. And what the hell to do? I got to increase my stoke here. You're in Michigan? Yes, yeah. Come to the West Coast. Yeah. That's what I was thinking, dude. I, it's just getting to bronze here in Michigan. It's pretty brutal weather-wise. Yeah, dude, maybe take a, take a road trip. Nothing better than a nice road trip, you know, explore the country, get a van, 
Well, Michigan's and, fun. Why don't you guys just get a lake house for the summer and spend the summer by the lake? Uh, American, like they did in American, American Pie, too. Pie too. Yeah. Yes. And just be, hey, so, uh, just be the yeah, legends so, of the lake. So we're from a, uh, you know, a small town. And, uh, so what's your thoughts on getting up and just leaving, packing yeah, up packing and just going? And going to the big city. I think if you're thinking about it, you should give it a try. Yeah. God damn what, it. What if we're, uh, we're low in the, the fundal area, though? Yeah, you boys got an extra room at your place? No. <laughs> um, maybe for like a night if you're my cousin. Um, I'll Airbnb it by, uh, by you guys. We can catch up, get some beers. Yeah, you got to teach me how to catch some sick waves. Sounds good. Uh, I, what, so what's the, are you thinking of going to Chicago or are you thinking of coming to L.A.? Uh, I want to go somewhere. I, I want to go somewhere warm. Yeah, I'd rather go L.A. Like Chicago's the same weather as here. Yeah, but yeah. in summer it's good. It is. Yeah, Michigan summers are great. We can always come back here. Yeah, nice. How'd you guys become friends? Oh, uh, we've been we're, since kindergarten. We're we're, we're twenty two now. We've been, we've been best buds since since we were fucking six seven years old. Yeah, right. I think we met each other in kindergarten. Nice, dude. You know what? You know what actually inspires me for the summers is uh, Kid Rock's music video for um, "All Summer Long." That makes yeah. me. No, oh, yeah. That makes me want to hit a lake. It's a good Michigan yeah. reference too. Yeah, 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 Michigan. Kid Rock. Hit a lake with some Budweisers, and then find the love of your life for three months. Oh, I, I love it. I Did think you just just saw Kid yeah. Rock in Nashville. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Was nice. it good? Oh, he was unreal. He uh, really like he showed up. He showed up out of nowhere with John Party and Big and Rich. Oh, nice! nice. I love John Party. Incredible. You're pretty. Well, amazing. if I was you guys, I would spend the. I would at least do the Fourth in Michigan. It's the Fourth of July is more fun in the Midwest, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. oh we've, we'll got a, we've got a we've got a that's a not nice true. Four or five <laughs> years, and uh, we wake up at the crack of dawn and drink some beers for America. Yeah, that's, what, that's what's up. Yeah, that sounds yeah. good. It's good you guys have each other too. So if you do decide to move, you can jump in with somebody else. Yeah, that's what we're hoping. I feel like it'd be a lot easier to move with someone than alone. It's way easier, yeah. Yeah. So American Pie two, and Kid Rock all summer long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's all you need. <laughs> that's all you need. That's gonna raise the stoke right there. I love it. All right, man. Good luck, boys. Good luck, all right, guys. fellas, have fun. Thanks, boys. Hey, hey, we're thanks, pod. fellas. Thanks, dudes. Thanks. Ryder, say hello yeah, as well. Yeah, tell Strides we say what up. For sure. All right, boys, take it easy. Later. Thanks, boys. Later. Hello? Hey, what's up, man? You're on with Chad and JT and Uncle Joe. This is uh, Going Deep with Chad and JT. Hey, dude. Yo. What's going on, boys? Nothing, man. Hanging. How you doing? I'm doing well. Just getting... To the grocery store. Oh, nice. nice. What, uh, what? What's your call about, my friend? Oh, we're just seeing you. Just seeing how uh, you had many callers today. I've had a good amount. JT's been right blowing on. up. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually talking to you guys. <laughs> I, know, I just love all y'all's fast and furious coverage and just Thanks. y'all's inspiration for Paul Walker. Thanks, dude. All that shit cracks Thanks, me man. up. Good, good. Man, I wish I had more to say. I saw a Cali number. Um, ah, oh, shit. Well, it's all right. Is man. this have... like being streamed right now? Like, no, nah, it's recorded. No, no, it's recorded. So we can. Oh, uh, right on. Yeah, we right can alter on. it if needed. If you don't have yeah. anything to say, you could like pay homage to Joe's hog or something. Yeah, I'd appreciate that. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> if you have anything to say, you could like pay homage to Joe's hog or something like that. Yeah, man, I wish Joe's hog uh, has a nice wife and keeps growing and whatnot. Thank you. Oh, that's yeah, nice. that's very sweet. That was good. What do you guys got? Go- Y'all been hitting a lot of the waves out there? For sure, dog. Yeah. Hey, man, we're just going to keep pushing. It was good talking to you, brother. Hey, good talking, man. I wish I was a better call. No, you did a great <laughs> job. Thanks, man. Hey, we'll, talk, we'll, we'll catch it on the air. All right, yeah. later, brother. All right, right on. Bye. We're going to keep pushing. Call from... Hudson Cockroft. Oh, Hudson. To Hell accept, yeah. Is this Huddy one. Eyes? To send a voicemail, press 2. Hey, what's up, man? This is JT. You're on with Chad, JT, and Joe on Going Deep with Chad and JT. No way. I am? Yes, you are. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, so uh, I have a Paul Walker statue petition right in front of me. Is this Huddy Eyes? Made... Yes, it is. Oh, dude. Quit DMing my girlfriend. <laughs> what? He DMs my girlfriend. Why do you, Why do you do that, Huddy? 
because you weren't responding. So I had to go through your girl. And uh, I was you trying to go through, through different you angles. You can't do that. <laughs> I also went through your, uh, JT's girl as well. What? I, I admire the persistence, kind of. Yeah. Are you a weird guy normally? No, not really. <laughs> Fair enough. But... So yeah. so you have a you have a Paul Walker statue petition? Yeah, so you went to Santa Clara University, right? I did. Yeah, so this is in Cupertino. Oh nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went to Cupertino, they laughed me out. And uh I have two hundred signatures. Nice. And they basically laughed I even wore a tie and they laughed me out. That's so a I'm bummer. wondering if I could get your endorsement or something. Sure. Yeah, we that full be... fully endorse oh, can... the petition. Um, oh, I, I can add, I can add your two your two name your three names uh, for a Paul Walker statue. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, thanks, my dog. Yeah, you're the best. Thanks for supporting hey, the statue. Thanks. All right, dude. Good oh. talking to you, man. Tell my girlfriend I said what up. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> uh, I will. I will. Okay. Later, dog. Bye. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, DM JT's girlfriend too. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the balls on everybody too. You'd be like, why are you doing that? They're like, it's cool. <laughs> You're like, all right, yeah, I guess it's cool. Hello? Hello, this is Jake. I'm sorry I couldn't get to the phone. I'll give you a call when <laughs> I get a chance. A message? At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more yeah, options. Yeah, a voicemail. Hey, Jake, this is Joe from the Ch Going Deep with Chad and JT podcast. Uh, pick up your phone. We're trying to get a hold of you. Got him. Thanks, man. Figures a Jake wouldn't answer the phone. All right, I got one. You want me to do this one? Yeah. Hola, mi amor. Hi, uh, me Amor. This is Joe from the uh, Chad and J Going Deep with Chad and JT podcast. Uh, you're on live with Chad and JT. What is your question? Mom, you're on. Hey, Monica. Oh, hi, guys. How's How are going? you? All right. I'm doing fantastic. How are you? We're good. We're good. Recording the podcast. Okay. Do I have a question for you guys? I don't know if you have one. Uh, I got. I guess I have a question for you, Mom. When Noel stole my car, remember when that guy stole my car? Of course. Why didn't you and Dad ask him to bring it back? Yeah, that's a good question. Because you told us not to do anything. You told us you were going to handle it on your own. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I appreciate you guys giving me that. Uh, yeah, you say. Uh, this is bad enough, it's embarrassing, and you were really upset because you said we were nice to him, and for him to do that was really disrespectful to us and to you, and it was really embarrassing to you, so you didn't want us to do anything. You say, I deal with it. Oh, that's nice. You guys are nice. Yeah, good way to be independent. Yeah, why well, didn't do anything? Yeah, exactly, and and we respect the way he wanted to deal with it on his own, and so we step back. What else is that, mom? <laughs> we trust your judgment, my love. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I didn't do much in that case. Yeah, but I appreciate the <clears throat> trust. What? Uh, what's going on, mom? What are you up to? No, but, but the funniest part when the car was brought back. Remember you and your me and your brother? Yeah, you guys were like having fun collecting the evidence, and it really upset oh, me. Oh, we wore gloves, and we uh, Christopher had a pen in his hand. So not to touch that, you know, not to mess up the fingerprints and we have a paper bag and Chris is moving things with a pen and we have the gloves on <laughs> and you scared the, you throw us out of the garage. <laughs> like, you think this is funny? <laughs> Get out of here and Chris and I walk away with the gloves on. <laughs> yeah. You're hilarious, mom. <laughs> it was funny. No, Chris it was I funny. It was like, funny. We, we thought we were like, how do you call those shows? Uh, NC, uh, NC CI, CSI? CSI. Yeah, we were all all prep for the job. Now we walk in the house with a cell between our legs. 
<laughs> well, I, pr- I appreciated it, Mom. <laughs> that you guys at least uh, put some effort into it. I am loving everything you're posting on, on Instagram. Oh, thanks, Mama. Um, I love you guys. You guys are so funny. Mom, yeah. will you tell the story of uh, when Dad and Uncle Jimmy got in a fight? At the toga oh, party, was, oh my God! No, it was it was a it was a Moulin, Moulin Rouge party. Moulin Rouge, okay. right? Moulin Rouge, and it was Tracy's fortieth and Jimmy's fiftieth, and it was amazing. I mean, everybody went out of their way. They rented the elephant from the movie. Everything. It was it was an amazing party. So your dad got into an argument with one of. He used to be one of the suppliers for the chemicals for the shampoo. And your dad started fighting with him, arguing, and Jimmy is really close to him. And Jimmy was was in the pool at the moment. So he heard they were arguing, and, and um, Jimmy came in a towel with a teacher on and a towel. And the funniest part is they start rolling on the ground, and they start like fighting each other, and Jimmy's towel came off. And Jimmy was naked. I when I looked down, my comment was like, "Oops, I married the wrong brother." <laughs> 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 but it was ugly. I mean, they were really went at it, and it was funny because one of them is half naked, <laughs> and it was like, "Oh my god!" Thanks God, there weren't so many people left at the party. Just like the, you know, the last ones that are always the closest friends. But yeah, it it was bad. They really, really, really got into it. Yeah, that sounds. Mom, thank you for uh, sharing that stuff. Thanks, with Ma. Us. Yeah. Anytime, call me anytime. I'm loving these. Thanks, Monica. Uh, love you, Mom. I well, love you guys. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. Love you too, babies. Bye. <laughs> that was a good call. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Dude, Huddy coming in. Coming in hot. Just. Dude. DM and our GFs. Yeah, it's pretty bold. He's a bold dude. He comments on like everything with a lot of requests. And he, you know, he was he was clowning on me to her. Like he'd comment on our photos, and he's like, "I have more steez than Chad." I'm like, "Oh, hung. he was doing that stuff." He's like, "I'm yeah, more it's... hung than Chad." And I'm like, "What are you doing, dude?" Dude, um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to pile on, but. There's a lot of dudes who have that kind of energy. Like, um, I ran into a fan of ours at the improv, and he was drunk. And uh, I, I had some old friends from high school there who had brought their girlfriends. And he was super fucked up, and he goes to Strider. He's like, who's that girl dating? <laughs> and then Strider was like, him, and pointed to our old buddy from high school. And he went, really? <laughs> he doesn't even know us, and he's talking shit on how our buddies don't deserve their girlfriends. Or when, something. when was this? This was after the last locals only stand oh, really? shit. Yeah, 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 hilarious. Yeah. No, but I, lo- I, I, I got love for Hudson because he's he's pushing for the statue. Yeah, his heart's in the he, right place. He's just trying to get our attention. Yeah, I don't really understand the tactics, but well, that's what I he's res- doing. He just wants you to respond. I respect the tenacity. That's very magnanimous of you, dude. How's that new phone that, you know, it, it like, it freaks me out with the, you know, I have this button. You get used to it super quickly. Did you? Yeah, and the and the, the face recognition on it is insane. Like, yeah, it's great. That, like, yeah, that, you don't need that button at the bottom. That's how you, you... You get used to it. That's how you open it with face recognition? Yeah, it's your yeah. face. That's crazy. But it can, like, see your face from, like, does it... And the person who sold it to me at the AT&T store said, like, if you look enough like the person, it'll still work for facial recognition. Right? Oh, it shouldn't. Like, they had a brother and brother and brother do it. Oh, really? Not even identical, and it worked. Does that Does that worry you that... They're recording your face like that? Dude, I'm starting to get worried about all that stuff. Like, the, the idea that your phone is recording you and targeting ads to you, even when you're not actively using it, it's yeah. just, like, listening to you. That's something that people are worried about, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that scares the hell out of me. And then someone's talking about getting an Alexa. You know, Alexa? Which sounds cool, because you'd be like, Alexa, play Linkin Park or something. But then, For you know, sure. if they say Alexa's just listening to you all the time. Yeah. And, dude, I, like, say awful shit sometimes yeah. especially when i'm driving yeah. yeah oh yeah like there's enough in there to like get me ostracized from the public for the rest of my life yeah. whoa you better watch it maybe i'll just put maybe i'll just you know put alexa in like a safe most times and then when i'm boning 
I'll put Alexa out. So they're like, damn, this guy's just boning all the time. Yeah. And, oh, right. This guy's a man. And dude. then I just get ads for Douglas Lube and Manscaped all the <laughs> right. time. <laughs> yeah, for like gigolo clothes. <clears throat> yeah, for fucking kimonos. Yeah, and then, dude, I was on a wheels. You know, one of those little scooters that we like to ride around. The wheels is the one that's not a stand up one, it's like a mini bike that you ride. And, dude, it connected to my Bluetooth so I could play music on it. I was like, oh, dude, what a perk. I can blast my music while I ride. Yeah. And then it wanted to connect with my contacts, too. Oh. I was like, the mini bike company wants all my contacts? Like, yeah. what the hell's going on here? Yeah. I don't know if I'd be listening to music riding one of those anyways. I don't. I listen to podcasts. Maybe no, I wouldn't road. be listening to anything. I'd be aware. Of, of the everything. road? Yeah. I know, dude. But I need that little lowercase d danger to process my feelings sometimes. Okay. What is that lowercase d? <laughs> like it's not actually dangerous, you know? It's just like riding a <clears throat> no, scooter. No, I think it's actively dangerous. Yeah, but it, you're right, you're right. But On the but, street or the sidewalk? But compared to like past processing behavior, it's it's lowercase d. Like I used to do like drugs or something like that. Oh. Joe, do you, do you listen to music when you drive? A lot. Yeah, when I drive, but not... Uh, you're a country guy. Yeah, I listen to a lot of country when I drive. It's very relaxing. Do you like how they romanticize like the small town life in country music yeah i mean i guess i mean i really just like the yeah i mean i guess the lyrics are fine but i just uh, i like the rhythm and the do you have a cowboy hat the soothingness no do you dream of no. like one day owning a ranch and like no i'm not a cowboy i mean i'm a, I'm a city guy but do you want to be a cowboy no you sure a little bit I feel like you'd be a good cowboy. I could see you. I could see not you, a cowboy. Well, I could see you very. You're definitely yeah. not a cowboy, but you're kind of a cowboy. No, I'm a city slicker. Well, you can't ride a horse, but like if I put you in jeans and a cowboy hat, no one would like think twice about you looking the part. Yeah, that, yeah, I'd yeah. sport it. Yeah, yeah, you've got but like the go the ruggedness of a cowboy, I think. the stoic and, masculinity. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I could see him slaughtering animals in very like honorable hey. way. You know, I don't know. I see. I, the thing I like about country music is that like small town, like it, there's like something very like content about it. Sure. Like in the Zach Brown song "Homegrown," the chorus goes, "I got some good friends that live down the street. Got a good looking woman with her arms around me. Here in a small town where it feels like home, I've got everything I need and nothing that I don't." Yep. Amen. Amen. Right? Yeah. And especially when you've been in a city for a <clears throat> bit, you start to really feel that. You're like, maybe there is some maybe there is something smart about that simplicity for sure there's none of that in la no no that's why yeah that, that listening to that music kind of calms you because this city's so busy and rat race you know do, do you guys dream of retiring in like a smaller town one day i dream about it but i would never want to do it like i yeah, need the do i don't think so at least at the, where i'm at right now i need the hustle and bustle and like the kind of yeah. manic yeah. energy of yeah. the city yeah. but i do definitely feel like oh it'd be nice to take a break but i know if i but but the day i do that i'm gonna be like oh i need to get yeah. back to it you know yeah. Like, yeah i heard about this guy who he's retired in puerto vallarta and you're like it's a nice place to vacation but like to like live there right i don't think i could no, do that. that'd be brutal we ran yeah. into a lot of those people in cabo yeah and they're they're moving at a different speed yeah like they kind of just like walk up slow look around they yeah they got nowhere to go they pull out like yeah. a half toasted joint they take a couple puffs yeah and they're like oh yeah what are you guys up to yeah and it they don't have that like what, what's going on is everything going the way it's supposed to like yeah. are we on track are we on target let's yeah. go yeah. I, li I like getting stuff done you know yeah. just like yeah. going through your day being like i did this i did that i did this i did that there's lots of traffic yeah i like that kind of day some people don't you like traffic so, no, just like, you know, it's like... Well, like yesterday, we, we did like... We went from... Where was your audition on Tuesday? Uh, Burbank. Oh, okay. So you're already in Burbank. I went yeah. Venice to Burbank oh, to yeah, West LA, lot. back to West Hollywood. Whoa. Yeah. Why? Because that's what the day... What, that's what was happening Damn, that that's Damn, that must have taken like five hours. Dude, I crushed some pods. Yeah. What pods do you listen to? Dude, I, I listen to Mark Norman. I was going to actually make him my babe of the week, but uh, I'll switch it up. Mark Norman's a great comedian. I listen to him on the Underground Comedy Podcast. And I just think that guy has such clarity when he talks about like the comedy scene and culture at large. And, yeah. and he's Because he's edgy, but he's like really thoughtful about how he deploys it. Yeah. yeah. 
That's cool. Yeah. I've been listening, so I listened to that most recently. What about you guys? Uh, I haven't listened to. I've been listening to books on tape, actually. Dude, smart. Yeah. What are you listening to? Um, I was listening to a book I mentioned last week. Sounds very memorable. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I know. I read it. Fuck, what's it called? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what he's listening to. I'm, I'm, you're, really, you're really taking it in. Yeah. What is it? It's uh, it's about how the nice guy one. Yeah, no, that's what I've been listening to. But now I've also been reading um, oh, fingerprints of the gods. And it's about how this guy is saying that archaeology, as we know it, might not be as uh, accurate. accurate as we think, and really? that there was probably a lot of other civilizations before, and that big cataclysmic events sort of wiped out the earth and that's why we don't so there's no see, evidence right. of any past civilizations there is and you know a lot of archaeologists now are pretty dogmatic in their beliefs and they're like they're like um any any sort of contrary evidence to what they think they they just don't accept it and right it's like okay that's very interesting stuff yeah you're into that yeah sure why would yeah i don't know i was i was thinking maybe you'd go deeper on it why does it interest you because you never really think about that. Right. Yeah, it's, and you think, you know, if there are civilizations that got pretty advanced and then got totally wiped out, yeah. how advanced did they get? You yeah, know? right. What, what were their iPhones? Oh, so you're saying we we, we kind of take it for granted, too, that we're at this level of, like, advancement, but that it could all just be taken away in a, in a blank. I, if there's a comet or an yeah. asteroid or whatever, then later, dudes. Yeah, every run is temporary. No yeah. One stay, no one, you know, you don't win a title every year forever. Yeah. What do you what do you what have you been consuming lately, Joe? Uh, eat like food wise or? <laughs> Come on. Well, I mean, I haven't been reading or listening to anything. Uh, I just work a lot and then work out. Hang with Julie. Uh, yeah, hang with Julie a little bit, not not much. I just she, asked because you went to lunch with her yesterday. She's annoying. Um. She bothers you, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean she's cool. I, I shouldn't say that. Um, I feel you, dog. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll go to lunch after this. I'm going to the eye doctor. It'll be, it should be good. No, how, how are your eyes? Uh, they seem good. I just need new contact lenses. Oh, you wear contacts? Yeah. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, you wouldn't. All right, let's let's keep it moving. Let's get into the beefs and stuff. <laughs> yeah, Chad. What is your beef of the week? My beef of the week is with cotton shrinkage. Cotton, what up? I'm tired of you shrinking on my ass, dudes. You know? I like shirts and I like a very specific fit. And oftentimes I'll go to a store, maybe J. Crew, maybe Pac Sun, maybe Tilly's, maybe Banana Republic, maybe whatever. And I want to get a nice shirt. I like basic shirts, I like solid colors. And I like a very specific fit. Not too small, not too big, just right in the middle. Probably a larger fit. And oftentimes I'll try on the shirt and I'll be like, this fits well, you know? And I'll ask the dude, I'll be like, is this gonna shrink a lot? And he's like, no, nah, not too much. And then the shrinkage comes in, it's ruined, you know? It's true. And I yeah. can't wear the shirt the same way. I wear the shirt and it does not make me feel good, you know? You know when you put on a shirt and you're like, I just don't feel good in this shirt. That's what happens. I'm like, I wasted money on this, and now I'm wearing a shirt that doesn't make me feel good because the cotton shrinks. So cotton, why don't you stand up to the dryer and say, I'm not shrinking with well, you. Well, this is what you have to do. You have to wash your clothes in cold water. Do you do that? I do warm. Okay, well, that, that's your problem. You're welcome. But it, does, it is hard to keep them from shrinking. I've had bad wash your clothes. I know I'm no laundry expert. In cold water, really more of a novice. All right, the Joe. color cycle wash. Joe, you're hijacking his beef. <clears throat> I appreciate the honesty, though. Joe really sticks it to you. And now I'm gonna wash with cold. But does it not wash as well when it's when it's cold? Is it? And it's fine. Does it not wash as well? Uh, no, there's still soap in there. I didn't say don't use soap. Right, does it get it out as much as the hot water? Yeah. 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 That's why do they have the options? Okay. Keep shrinking your clothes. I'm, I'm asking I'm asking why. I'm not, like, arguing <laughs> with you. Well, because um, 
certain things you want to wash, like towels, sheets. Right, boxers, socks. You want to wash warm. But it, the shirts you got to be careful with. Yeah. All right. Because that I'm, stuff I'm, doesn't shrink. I'm t- dude, I do laundry sometimes, too, and my clothes still smell afterwards. Or, like, the stain doesn't come out of my jeans. Like, it's a pretty oh, frustrating yeah. process. I mean, it, our washer and dryer at our building is, what, like a 6 out of 10 on the washer-dryer scale? Yeah, we can't overload it. That's the pro- That's the thing, too. Right, you got to keep it real low. you got to keep a, you know, like a medium-sized load. Yeah, even where the line is where it says don't go above this, you should probably, if you're being smart, stay 15% below that. Yeah, I'd stay a couple inches below it. Right. Are you familiar with your machine? Do you have good rapport with it? Um, you know, I can't say that I do have good rapport with it. You know, we have, it's kind of a, you know, tough relation because it takes too many quarters, I think, and I'm kind of beef with it for that. And I'm like, why do you need to take a dollar fifty for one wash? It is crazy. You know? And it keeps going up. Yeah. Yeah. Next place I get, I'm getting my own washer and dryer nice. and a hammock. Dude, having a washer dryer in unit, oh, uh, it's huge. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't have a dishwasher too. I forgot about that. Whoa. Yeah, like my girlfriend has a dishwasher, and she's like, "I'm gonna wash the dishes," and it took her like two minutes. And I was yeah, like, yeah, I was like, whoa. Yeah, we have a dishwasher. I forgot about the dishwasher. We got a dishwasher, but we don't have a full size fridge. We have too many fridges. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Joe, who is your beef of the week? Uh, my beef of the week is uh, ground beef. Um, really like uh ground beef tacos mm. um with a little bit of zesty spice to them you don't really get ground beef too much anymore and there's a few places that have ground beef nachos and ground beef tacos and i used to, my mom used to always make ground beef tacos for us when we were kids and i really miss ground beef it's great stuff ground is my beef of the week i like that I like that. I love ground beef, dude. Grind it up. I, I, I had Flying Dutchman before this. Dude, yeah. I, I went to Costco. I got a bunch of ground beef, you know, like two pounds or something. Grilled it all up. Got some La Victoria taco sauce and some avocado and went to town. Oh, that sounds great. Nice. That's a nice way to spend a day. I uh, My beef of the week is with a Monte Teo, mm-hmm. former linebacker from Notre Dame University. Played for the Chargers for a couple years. I think he's a free agent even though he's only 28. I bet you he could still play pretty good. But um, when he was in college, his senior year, he was a Heisman contender, which is pretty rare for a defensive player. But that Notre Dame team barely let up any touchdowns. But uh, what also propelled his Heisman campaign was that uh, he said his girlfriend was sick with uh, leukemia while he was playing. And then she passed away, and he was playing in her honor. And then uh, Deadspin did a report on it and found out that the girlfriend didn't actually exist. And then uh, Monte yeah, wild, Monte yeah. came out and said that he was duped by a a cousin of his, Ronnie Tuisapasopa. I don't know if he's any relation to the Tuisapasopas who play in the NFL, um, but uh, and and that the guy faked a woman's voice and that he was too embarrassed to admit to everybody that the relationship was only online because they think he was a weirdo. And uh, it was all just a very bizarre story. And in the end, I don't believe him. Yeah, he was catfished, yeah. I don't totally believe that he was catfished. I know that's kind of like a cynical way to look at it, but I just think uh, he thought it would be a good way. I don't know. I just think he knew. He knew something. And uh, it was just such a weird thing. And my brother had just graduated, or my brother was at Notre Dame at the time, and it was uh, it was hard to watch him uh, make faces every time someone brought it up. He's like, oh, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, it's not good. Um, so, yeah, you're my beef for the week, Monte Teo. Dude, weird story. It yeah, was it weird. was. And one of the, yeah, one of the weirdest ever. How do you think the catfishing is? Was there a form of catfishing before the internet? Pen pals, pen I guess. pals. But the day to day intensity of it must have been so much less. Yeah. <laughs> um, you get one like once a month. And then I guess the guy admitted that he catfished Monte, Ronnie. He said he did it because he was, like, in love with them, and and, uh, that was, like, the best way to get close to him was to, like, fake being a girl. Uh, Weird. And, uh, yeah, I just still think Monte knew something more than he let on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's in the NFL. You don't think you could get, like, a real girlfriend? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, Chad, who is your babe of the week? 
My babe of the week is Daisy Ridley. Daisy Ridley pay, plays um, what's her name in S- Star Wars? Ray. 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 Thank you, Aaron. Ray. She plays Ray in Star Wars. Just you know, it was a uh, I'm I. I uh, can't imagine the uh, unbelievable amount of pressure to uh, take on the main role in the new new chapter of the Star Wars franchise. That's huge, and I think she's done it well. Um, she's a major babe. I think she's done it with grace. She handles a lightsaber like a boss. You can tell the force is deep within her. So uh, I just wanted to commend her for um, you know taking on the force and you know taking on this new chapter and doing it with style. So. Um, that's why she's a babe. Nice. Nice. Joe, who is your babe of the week? Uh, it's going to be my sister. She's having her first child in a few weeks. And, uh, it's going to be a baby girl. Uh, yeah, she's due mid-July. And, uh, it's very excited. Uh, I'm very happy for her and uh, her husband. The great people. And, um, looking forward to being an, uh, an uncle again. Um. Yeah, and she seems to be doing well. She's feeling good. Uh, she's very big, but you know that happens. Nice. Yeah, pregnancy crazy. Yeah, she eating a lot. You know, for sure. My baby of the week is uh, Greg Warner. I don't know if I've uh, given him enough of the week before, but it's long overdue. He's a great guy. Uh, he used to be my road dog when he lived in Los Angeles, but now he's in New York. So now we're like. Uh, you know, just pen pals. We, we call each other a lot. And uh, I always enjoy talking to him. And one of the things I like most about him is that uh, he deepens my appreciation for art. Like when I used to get into his car, he'd be like, all right, dude, listen to this Kanye West song. And he'd really make me sit there and pay attention. And uh, it was a really deep experience because I, I, I felt like I was hearing it through his eyes or seeing it through or hearing it through his ears <laughs> or seeing it through his eyes. And uh, I always really appreciate that about him. So you're my uh, babe of the week, Greg Warner. And he was fun to party with. Nice. Yeah, he's a good guy. Solid guy. He lived in downtown, though, and Joe hated that. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, it was just funny how he would talk it up, and we would just say, this is trash. <laughs> and, it, I mean, it was before they were, like, even, like, building up. Like, downtown now is pretty cool, but this was a few years back when it was... I still know. think it's trash. Yeah. Every time yeah. I go down there, I'm like, I hate this. Yeah. I yeah. It's just, so it's a weird vibe. I'm not into it. And he was just all about it. Like, let's go to these bars and making us come down. I mean, he had a cool place that we had like a, like a, like a loft. loft. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. He had a cool downtown loft. Um, but yeah, it was, <laughs> it was funny how he was so into living downtown and just loving that downtown vibe. Yeah. It's a little weird. Chad, who is your legend of the week? Uh, <clears throat> my legend of the week is my new niece, Taylor. Nice. Whoa. Uh, my uh, sister-in-law gave birth to a new baby girl uh, yesterday. Taylor, welcome to the world. Uh, cutest baby ever. She looks, she, I can tell she looks like my brother. She has dark hair, kind of uh, blue eyes. Very cute baby. And he says she's super sweet. He wrapped her up like a little burrito, and she's just in her little um, hospital carrier thing, just chilling, being sweet. So welcome to the world. I can't wait to show you the art of tanning. Um, I'm stoked to be your uncle, you know. Um, I hope you listen to this podcast someday, maybe like 10 years from now. You can really take it in and uh, understand what I'm talking about. But I just want to name you Legend. You're a freaking legend. Welcome to the family. I know you're going to dominate this life. For sure. (laughs) Yeah. No, that's for sure. Good to say. You're going to dominate this life, and you're going to crush it, and uh, I'm going to be there to support you all along the way. So stay stoked, little baby. Stay stoked, baby. And I'll see you in August. Joe, who is your legend of the week? Uh, It's one of my best friends back in Chicago. He, um, you know, he's been a, he's a chef and restaurant owner and the business that they do is so great that they just expanded to a bigger restaurant nice they needed more room because there's just so many people coming in and out and they bought up a bigger space um you know just because everything is 
he's hitting on all cylinders and uh this is a guy who when we were younger when we were partying and you know uh we'd be out late at night he'd be like oh i gotta get up for work and he was he was working hard at a very young age and kind of like you know deserves all the success and you know it's good to see him flourishing now because he put in the work early um whereas a lot of us were partying while he was working and getting up early and putting in his time and now it's paying off and it's great to see dude nice That's That's definition of hard work yeah he's a nice legend bro thank <clears> you <throat> it's cool to see someone uh thriving in the restaurant biz. yeah 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 he really is it's just it's un it's unbelievable nice man um those are great legends my legend of the week is a. Uh, Svetlana Andreeva. She's a uh, boxing coach in Russia, and she has a really fire Instagram account. And I just love watching her uh, teach everybody how to box. She's like always grabbing guys, and she's like, no, no, fa, da, she da, she da, da, da. And her punches are like incredible. Like she looks like she could like mop up every henchman and kiss the dragon. And, um, yeah, I'm just a huge fan of hers. I love her technique, and I love her energy in all of her videos. So, Svetlana Andreeva, you are my legend of the week. Nice. Chad, do you have a quote of the week? I do. It comes from the freaking wisest man ever, Yoda. Nice. He's a little green, wise. Yeah, I don't know if he's a man. He's a green creature that's wise. <laughs> He seems like he's a man of whatever species he is. I think he's just really old and he's true. Drunk. Right. Yeah. I think he's like he, 900 he's a man, years old. Green guy, yeah. I think he's like 900 years old. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. I think that's what happens when you become 900. A lot of wisdom. Yeah, you just get green and big ears. And you forget decades. Oh, that's like what happens to every human. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's true. It'd be funny to see a 900 year old Joe. Do you think he'd look yeah, like Yoda? It'd be interesting. It could be a week from now. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so this comes from Yoda train yourself to let go of everything you fear to lose or all maybe I'll do is Joe train yourself to let go of everything you fear to lose yeah that's dumbass better. yeah I like that better <laughs> uh, now it makes sense yeah so yeah it's train yourself to let go of everything you fear to lose whoa that's awesome Joe, what is your quote of the week? Uh, <clears throat> all right, my quote of the week is... Uh, that was louder than like an M80. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> you fucking grunt like you got like a full train well, station inside Because I had something. Uh, so my quote of the week is... Uh, I'm here to eat ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of ass. said that i I just made it up i thought it'd be funny you made that up that's great dude. that's amazing wow dude you're a real poet bro thanks i love eating. that was great to hear do you like eating ass so i'm gonna chew i need to chew gum now because i'm not do you love did you get the joke yeah i got it but do you love eating ass and not particularly really it was just a bit (laughs) all right all right, dude, my quote of the week is from the book I'm reading, Carl Ove Nosgaard's book one, My Struggle. I guess he wrote eight of these. It's a pretty big achievement to write eight books about your own life. I dig it. And uh, it's a long one. She said I would have, this, he's walking around with this girl, Hannah, that he has a big crush on. And up to this point in his life, he hasn't had much luck with the ladies. And he, he's really keen on this one. And uh, she says, she would have, she said I would have liked her father. Would have, I wondered. Hmm, I mumbled. He sounds nice, laconic. What does laconic mean, she asked, her green eyes looking at me. Every time she did that, I almost fell apart. I could smash all the windows around us, knock all the pedestrians to the ground, and jump up and down on them until all signs of life were extinguished. So much energy did her eyes fill me with. I could also grab her around the waist and waltz down the street, throw flowers at everyone we met, and sing at the top of my voice. Laconic, I said. It's hard to describe. A bit dry and matter-of-fact. Perhaps exaggeratedly matter-of-fact, I said. Sort of understated. Yeah. That's a lot of energy from a, a glance. Passionate love. Yeah. Dudes, what else? Uh, what else? We're going to San Francisco this weekend? Yeah, we're going to be in SF Saturday and Sunday. Uh, I'll be in L.A. Dude, and then um, we're doing a podcast about Entourage. The episode 
uh, uh, One Day in the Valley. One Day in the Valley. Which is an epic episode. Johnny Drama talking about how much he hates the valley. I told you, I only go to the valley November through March. And even then, only sushi roll. <laughs> nice. It's <laughs> uh, a great episode. And then Vince gets everyone to do Cotty. Um, oh, and then he goes to the high school party and rages with the high school. Yeah. It's such a good episode. Rolling blackouts are threatening the box office weekend for Aquaman. Yeah. So he just goes and rages. He disconnects. Vince is great at disconnecting. Yeah. 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 It's almost like he's so good at disconnecting, it's hard to imagine him actually working. It's hard to imagine him engaged and committed to something. Yeah. Yeah. He's just chilling. He's just a chiller. Chilling hard. Joe, what are your plans this weekend? Uh couple shows work yeah should be good um, that's it any new material you're working on yeah some how's it coming fine nice thanks is there anybody else you guys want to call uh should we call julie <clears throat> you think that'd be fun i think she'd be good yeah you guys down? Yeah. You want her live on here? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we could try. She might be at work, though. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic... Yeah, I think she might be in the uh, operating room. She's busy. We could pitch your she brother. told me she had a busy week. What? We could pitch your brother on a, our uh, CrossFit name. Oh, let's call him. Yeah. Do you want to call Kevin? Oh, yeah, we could call Kevin next, too. Yeah, yeah, We could call my brother, too. He could do a movie review. Your call has... You're sick to break him up that way. All right, we're one for three. Thank you. <clears throat> Who else can we call? Do you mind if we try my other brother? Yeah, and then my brother's ready to do a review of a movie. Sweet. What yeah. movie? Hey, you'll have to hear it. Okay. What's up? Hey, uh, you're on you're on the podcast. Mark, hey, what's up? Mark, congratulations. Congrats with the the new baby. Yeah, congratulations, Mark. Thanks, guys. This is Joe. How's uh how's fatherhood treating you so far? It's awesome. Yeah. She she just powered through like an hour's worth of food. That's awesome. Oh, so, nice. Trying to get her to grow. Nice. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're going to be good at that. How tall do you <laughs> How tall do you want her to be? Oh, 58 plus. Nice. Solid. Um yeah. yeah, that's my only job right now in life is to feed her <laughs> and to feed and to feed the wife so she can feed her. Dude, I didn't think about how I didn't think about that job that you're going to have, and now I'm thinking about how good you're going to be at that. Yeah. <laughs> gonna, That's what I've been training for. Yeah, you've been training for that for like five years. You're going to dominate. Yeah. <laughs> we need her to get um, a full-ride athletic scholarship so I don't have to save for college. What sport yeah. are you thinking? I think track and field. That's where my money is. Dude, I, she probably can't, but like a, a lot of smart families in Orange County would train their sons to be long snappers in football. Oh, yeah. Because it's, like <laughs> it's like a position that no one's really good at, and yeah. then their kids would get scholarships because there's not many long snappers. Yeah, you bank on that niche. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's it's something like that. I don't know exactly how it's going to play out, but her mom was all state track, so that's that's where my money is. Yeah, my sister-in-law, her parents, they, they cycle, like, a ton. And her mom, is, she's just, like, she does triathlons a ton. She's oh, so the genetics are top-notch. Oh, yeah. And Bronwyn, uh, Bronwyn ran track, right? Yeah, she was an all-state hurdler. And you, you were a good sprinter, right? Yeah? Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Not, not you're, bad. You were a wide receiver in high school, right? Uh, yeah, and tight end. Oh, that's right. Nice. I still hold the I still hold the eighth grade field record for shot put as well. So. Oh, I remember oh, you dominated nice. that. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Do I remember Trent? We were playing flag football, and I got both his flags, and I stomped on him. You remember that? <laughs> yeah. Just dominated Trent. Just dominate. Dude, yeah. <laughs> I got both your both your flags, bitch. <laughs> All right, well, we just wanted to say congrats. Oh, wait, do you, you talk to Joe? Joe's here, too. Hey, Mark. Yeah, hey, Joe. 
What's up? Man? I was just watching your, your your post from today with all three of you. <laughs> so keep up the good work. Yeah, hell yeah, we're having fun. <laughs> Thanks, man. Good. Thanks, yeah, Mark. good. Congrats on Taylor. Yeah, congrats. Yeah, dude. congrats. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the call. Yeah, Bye, yeah. Later, later, man. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. That was great. You, you could hear how excited he was in his voice. He's pumped. Call Kevin. Yeah, I could call my brother, then Kevin, and then can we call one of your parents, Joe? No. <laughs> Dude, should we try Strider too? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's up? What up, dude? What up? This what's is my brother, on? Chris. Hey, Chris, you're on the podcast. What Chris, up, that's Chris? Joe. Oh, hey, what's up, Joe? Hey. How you living, who dog? Else is, uh, who else is just, on there? Just Chad. <laughs> what up, dude? What up, dog? How you doing? How's work? How's doing? Good, man. Um, nice, Chris. So you're, you know, probably the biggest cinephile I know. Can I get your latest review on a film you've seen? Uh, yeah, I've actually been slumping a little bit. The last movie I saw was uh, Godzilla: King of Monsters. Oh, was it good? Uh, we'll get into it. Yeah, sorry, uh, <laughs> sorry, no, no, jump the gun there. Might, I, as well, might as well jump in. Yeah, uh, yeah, I will say that it looks dope a lot, but almost too much. Right, like there's like, like everything in it is treated with like such reverence and awe. Like even like the keyboards and like command centers that you're just like, you're it just kind of wears on you for a while. Was that you're overstimulated? For sure. And it's also like over two hours. And wow. it's just like, yeah, it's whoa. Weird. Like everyone's just constantly being blown away. Mm. They just kind of, you just kind of lose it. And I will say that by the end, it's uh, it's pretty exhausting. Do they do the Spielberg awe shot? You know, the Spielberg shot where they show the person's face being in awe and then they cut to the yeah. monster? Yeah, there's like, they do that about 60 times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They go to that well a lot. Too much it's awe. Also something that they did a lot in the first one um especially uh ken wantanabe's uh uh he's like a cryptozoologist or something it's not uh, i don't think it's real i remember for that sure. it's g- good job but yeah. title but yeah i'd say my favorite i'd say my favorite scene was probably when ken wantanabe tracks godzilla down to his lair after a fight to uh Spoiler alert, although it's like, you know, before the third act, so it's not too much. And Godzilla just took a beating, so he's just taking a fat nap in the center of the earth. And uh, Ken Watanabe goes in there to set off a nuke to jet to juice him up for his final fight. Whoa. And then have, like a nice little moment where like a sleepy Godzilla kind of awakes from a slumber and is kind of checking this dude out who just got a big bomb and he's just slowly dying and he's like, what's up? I'm going to jack you up. And then, you know, the showdown happens, which is pretty cool. That's awesome. That's um, like Miyagi working on Daniel's son before the final battle. Yeah. And it's pretty, and like his lair is pretty dope. It like kind of looks like it's in, uh, it's like just beyond Atlantis, but they don't even like talk about that. And there's just lava pouring everywhere and he's just snoozing away. Nice. It's pretty dude. cute. Yeah. But overall, I'd say probably about a two out of five. Ooh, yeah. Uh definitely wait for it to just come on cable. No need to rush out to the theaters to see this one. Good to know. Good to know. Thank you, Chris. Anything yeah. good we should be watching? I don't know, man. I just watched Euphoria. Is that is good? Like, is that the Zendaya one? Yeah, on HBO. I watched the first episode. Just, it's it's I uh just watched the pilot like an hour ago. It's uh it looks heavy. It's pretty unfun. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. I try- Somebody should tell these high school kids that uh, trying to get laid and doing drugs, they you know, can be cool. It can be fun and activity, but they're all pretty vicious. Mm. I, yeah, I turned it off once the one girl was, like, giving herself shots in her bruised butt. I was like, okay. Oh, yeah. You yeah. hadn't really gotten the meat of the episode. Oh, she Lord. She night. Oh lord! And uh, you see a nice Eric Dane prosthetic wiener. Oh. That was cool. Nice. I could and watch he's slipping that. on a Jimmy hat. That was that was uh, 
But again, it's just not fun. Like that should be fun, but it's not. It's just creepy or like sexually violent. Yeah, I think you really yeah. crystallized it. We want dong and media right now to be fun dong, mm -hmm. not yeah, yeah. not awful dong. Because I mean, that that story's that story's already been hurting us yeah. enough. All right, man. Well, Chris, thanks for uh, giving us your review, dude. It was nice having you on the pod. I'm sure we'll have you back soon. And I'll, I'll, Sounds good. I'll see you this Love weekend. You guys. Hey, Love Chris, you. good hearing from you. Good talking, you, Chris. Thank you for the review. I'll see you. All right. Later, All right. dudes. What's funny about like a movie like Godzilla, it's like I don't necessarily know if they're going for the good reviews when they're making that right. movie. Like when people like criticize it, do you think they even care? My brother called back. Like, there's not going to be, like, you'll never hear, best picture, uh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. I don't think they're going for right. the big awards. I think they're going for that visual stuff. That's what they want. They're, they're going for a movie that looks you still got to cool. tell a good story. Well, I don't, I don't think they even you, care. You and my brother had a rocky start to your relationship because I had a 4th of July party, which was probably the best 4th of July party. Nice transition. Too. So I didn't like you saying that West Coast doesn't do 4th of July as well as Well, I, I mean, typically, no. I mean, you're not even he you're not even going to be here for but, the 4th of July. But when I am here. So if the 4th of July here, was so great, you would stay. I have a bachelor party yeah. I'm going to. You're my going party. out of the country. You're not yeah. even going to be in America. I'm going to be in Newport. But when I'm here. You are? Yeah. Can I come? Yeah. I want to. Yeah, that's what's up. That'll be fun. I'm glad I'm yeah. happy. If I wasn't going to Cabo, I'd be with you. But I'm going for a bachelor party with my bros from Orange County. We're yeah. celebrating America. Yeah, way to go. Way to go to Mexico for yeah. the fourth. Yeah, what are you doing? Why are you, you guys? I don't understand yeah. this. <laughs> I understand it completely. Right, I don't but, know what you're but not at, at my great fourth of July party, you and I got yeah, tilted that was on fun. some Adderall. And then uh, you met a nice girl and you went into the garage and you. Was the car unlocked? You broke into a car and you started having sex in it, or you were about to have sex in it, and then yeah, I yeah, the car was unlocked. I didn't break in. I came, I came car. downstairs to get a condom, and I accidentally saw I saw you in there, and I got so excited, I opened the door, and then the alarms to the car went off. Turned out it was my brother's girlfriend's brother's car, so my brother kicked you out of the party for desecrating the car, and then I ran to the top of the stairs and on the balcony, and I went, Joe, I was like, dude, I'm sorry, my brother kicked you out, and he turned and he said, it's all right, he had to stand tall for his lady. And then he walked away. The thing is, though, we didn't even do anything. Like, uh, we weren't like in the middle of it. We were like maybe on the way to doing it. Like, I, I was I wasn't naked or anything. I'm, right, I'm stoked for you. Though. But now you guys are thick as thieves. Yeah, that was years ago. Yeah. Shut All right. Up. Yeah, let's. We got another call, guys. What should we talk to? Should we talk to him about the names? Yeah. Oh, he called back. Hey, Bro? Bill. Bill. Hi. Hey, you're on with uh, JT and Joe. Hey, Bill, what's up? Hey, Joe, how are you doing? Good, man. Fuck. <laughs> um, hey, so, so we're doing uh, one, one of your favorite activities, and someone wants to say hi. Oh, yeah. So, who is hi, Chad. I'm eating churros. Oh, hey, Charlie. <laughs> She's eating churros? <laughs> is that Charlie? Yeah, it is. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. We're at the taco place eating churros with oh, the kids. Oh, that's, that's awesome. awesome. Well, uh, sir, I hope you guys are having fun. Yeah, it's sort of Strider's domestic bliss dream, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I should put you guys in touch. You guys can talk shop. Yeah. Um, We wanted to go over the names we sent in. Did, does anything uh, tickle your fancy? Um, Here, let me hold on. Let me pull it up. Okay. And then what, what direction were you hoping to go with the name? Did you have, like, any kind of themes you wanted to touch on? Did you think about Joe's hog? <laughs> oh, you didn't send him that. Um, I like the idea of Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It's got a yeah. robust feel. It, it does. Yeah. Just stuff it, right? Yeah. Stuff it. Team stuff it. Oh, yeah. That stuff the good. stuffing. They put some nice glaze on top of it maybe put some <laughs> citrus in the cavity to keep it moist yeah i could imagine you guys talking I'll shit to other teams by like cavity. pouring syrup on one of your guys yeah <laughs> well if you guys come out east uh soon you'll have to meet up with a squad dude the squad yeah. squad be an honor to lift with you guys for sure yeah, yeah. we'll do some curls hammer curls hammer curls right i'm in What's the hammer what? curls better for like the long head of the for CrossFit? Up? Do you actually use hammers for the hammer curls? <laughs> I mean, I would think so. 
<laughs> that was a legitimate question. Yeah, that, that's a serious hey, question. It's a fair question, yeah. yeah. <laughs> be more fun that Or to use like an axe. <laughs> Do you want to say hi? Can you say hi? Hi. Hey. Is this Jane? That was Jane, yeah. Hey, Jane. How's she doing? I'm not putting you on speaker because we're in a restaurant. She's doing well. She has a cupcake purse. Oh, nice. Right now nice. With, a, with, a, with a kitty in it. Oh, that's fun. We, it, it's actually, it, maybe you want to tell the guys that it actually was yours and you just gave it to her because you were done with it. <laughs> oh, nice. It was yours? We, we, it was Char- Oh, I thought it was it was, uh, it was Chad's when he was a kid. Yeah. I love that thing. You had a cupcake yeah. purse? My cupcake purse, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I wow. love that. I love cupcakes. Yeah, you should still be rocking that. Do, yeah. <laughs> can, uh, Jane, can I borrow it? <laughs> uh, we just talked to Bi- uh, Mark, and he uh, he's pretty amped on fatherhood. Oh, yeah. I think uh, I think he's pretty pumped to feed this baby. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's going to get... What he doesn't realize is the baby can't just eat steak right now. It has to be nursed. Yes. And you can't start lifting until you're about four or five years old. But if they cook the steak right and they make it like extra tender, maybe it'll go down like baby food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he'll, here, he'll, come up here. He'll find a way. Beef beef puree? Yeah. Yeah. You liquefy the beef. Here I I blended up some cod liver for you. Eat up. <laughs> I know. He was trying to I shot a turkey in May, and it's in the freezer. And he goes, well, what do you do with the entrails? I'm like, I threw them away. <laughs> and he goes, why don't you eat them? I go, do you eat uh, turkey entrails? He goes, no, but maybe it's good. I'm like, okay, why don't you eat it and then tell me how, what it tastes like, and then I'll keep it. <laughs> oh, man, that's hilarious. Like, yeah, yeah he, he, he wants to be a, a snout to tail eater. <laughs> Yeah, he wants to eat the whole thing. He's the whole buffalo, like we said in Native American culture. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I imagine I'll get a text from him someday that he's buzzing off entrails. <laughs> he used, like, the the skin to, like, make clothes, and he used, like, the claws to make glasses or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bill. Well, thanks for, uh, thanks for taking the call. Okay, well, you're welcome. Sorry I'm at the restaurant now with the kids. So no worries. It's hard to chat. Have a good rest okay, of the day. Okay, boys. Thanks for the call. Talk All right, thanks, Bill. Bye. Bye, bye, Charlie and Jane. Hey, let's try my dad real quick. Oh, nice. And then maybe we'll prank call somebody. Yeah. To end it. Oh, we should do Kevin. more prank calls. Prank That'd be Kevin. Fun. Oh yeah, we'll prank call Kevin. But he'll know it's us. Yeah. Wasn't how- there a way to disguise? Uh... Your call has been forwarded to an. Ah, oh, damn it! He's being evasive. I bet. No, that's not fair to him. He might just be busy. He's being evasive. Yeah, evasive. Well, because he he just it went quickly to voicemail, which means he shot it to that. But I'm all over him. All right, here we go. Let's just fuck with Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you're on the podcast, bitch. Yeah. What's up, Schmoll? Wait, don't come at me. What's up? Oh, wait, bro. What's up, Kevin? What <laughs> hey, Kevin. Yeah, what's up? How you doing, brother? Good. What are you guys talking about? We're just chopping it up with the people in our lives. How? how we're curious. How you living? I'm doing fine. I I don't know what, why why you're calling me in the middle of your podcast after all the attacks you've made on me. You have you guys have any questions? Now we're excited for your, I'm excited for your bachelor party, and then I, yeah. I can't make it to the wedding. But I think that's gonna be a wing dinger. What are you most excited about for the bachelor party? Um, just being in close quarters with all you bros. Well, I do. Have you mentioned that Joe bailed on the bachelor party? Yeah, I'm not going. Why? Because I'm going to Chicago that weekend. Yeah, he's going to miss out. Damn. What about you, Chad? Are you coming? Yeah, I'm coming. All I, right. I Venmo'd you. Oh, yeah, you did Venmo me. Yeah. Guess who hasn't Venmo'd me yet? JT? The uh, small. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'll Venmo you, dog. My bad. All right, epic. <laughs> um, Kevin, is there anything you can say to all the stokers out there? Do you have a message for them? Yeah, keep stoking. You know, don't judge somebody by their you know first impression. You know, why not? Why not? Yeah. I I, I don't know because you know you got to you got to get to know somebody first. You might you know on first uh, glance you might 
think someone hey this guy's not cool he's not chill he might be a schmoll we want to book him out of our group but if you know you take a bigger look at him you might realize that you know you might actually be the schmoll interesting and the other person might be good you're preaching self-awareness dog i love it also if you uh if you if you need to uh wax up your board remember circles and stars with the base coat and then the wax nice thanks dude. all right over. thanks thanks kev good thanks, talking to thanks you, for kev. getting vulnerable there okay thank you yeah yeah let me know if you have any <laughs> other questions keep your stoke up later brother later all right peace all right dude i think two more we'll do hannah and then we'll do strider and then we'll, we'll yeah. hang out how can we prank call how can we like call from a different number star six nine does that is that's the whole thing i think that's the number that previously called maybe we prank call my cousin danny yeah we'll plug it into one of your guys's phones yeah your cousin danny yeah what, are, what are, what's the angle here yeah um we'll say that he um he's been staying at one of our rental units and um and um lake what's one of the lakes that people go to in california lake elsinore havasu yeah yeah at havasu yeah at havasu he's got one of our timeshares at havasu and it's wrecked yeah and all three of us own it and we're pissed yeah sorry we're doing this to you cousin danny you're a great guy hi is this daniel yes daniel hi um i'm a timeshare owner in Lake Havasu. You're currently in one of my units. Now, I understand you and your friends like to have a good time, and that's all well and good, but you've absolutely destroyed the property. It's wrecked. I don't okay. know. There's red solo cups everywhere. It's stains, uh, smashed table. I don't know what you guys did to the Jizz toilet. Jizz stains. Jizz stains. <laughs> Jizz shit stains. stains. One of your friends, probably you, took a shit on our new king-sized master bedroom bed. Yes, Mr. Thomas. Yeah, I masturbate on that bed. Yeah. Danny, you're good. I'm good. You, Let's keep. We'll keep pranking him. Keep pranking him. We you, got. It. We'll get him. You, <laughs> you just all over. I mean, I gotta commend you guys because it was one a of big you guys, load. Yeah, one of you guys has a huge load. I don't know if it's you or one of your buddies, but. Um, aside from my anger from all the damage, one of you guys has huge balls. Yeah, I just want to commend yeah, you. Yeah, it looks for like Elmer's glue lid. in there. Yeah, you're going to pay yeah. us back for all the damage, and then you're going to connect us with your friends who has the big jizz loads, because I'd like to take okay. him out to dinner. Yeah. <laughs> I want to figure okay. out what he eats. Is it oysters? Is that what it does it? You and your friends I think it's slime black and beans. shellfish? Oh, black beans, huh? Yeah, oh. it's black beans that does the magic. Well, I can't have those carbohydrates. Danny, did oh, you nope. do you know who this is? Of course I do. Yeah. Did you know it was me from the beginning? Yeah. <laughs> so you <laughs> Yeah, you didn't disguise your voice at all. Oh, we don't talk that yeah, much. That was, that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well I appreciate the feedback. How you doing, dog? I'm good. How about you? Good, good, man. I'll uh, <laughs> I'll text you after this and we'll uh yeah, we'll talk about uh, some shit. Okay. Alright, miss you dude. Alright, miss you too. Bye. I gotta take a piss. Kevin says you called me mid beat session. <laughs> Kevin said that? Yeah. That's why he was so tender. <laughs> Guys are getting married, he's fucking beaten off. What a pervert. <laughs> yeah, you know, go go have sex or something, you know. Alright, hey, uh, this guy one of my buddies is a huge fan. He's pretty hilarious too. Should we prank him? Yeah. Same Luke. same prank? Yeah, yeah, same prank. I'll disguise my voice more. We did not get Danny for a second. Can we do it no. from the bathroom? Hello? Hi, uh, Mr. Connors? Luke Connors? Yes. Yeah. Hi, my name is Rick. I'm a timeshare owner over here at Lake Havasu. It seems that you rented one of our properties, and I got to <laughs> say I am looking at it, and it is trash. <laughs> you know, the, the only problem with this is that I listen to your voice all the time. Oh, crap, dude. <laughs> hey, it's not, hey, it's not funny, bitch. <laughs>
you know, I, I, I was ready to dig in and go for it. I was just like, I'm not going to be able to do this because I'm acting. Okay, this isn't real. This isn't real emotion. Okay. You guys have to disguise your voices. Dude, right? yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, you call me like, hey, uh, this is Chad up, from the dude. fucking timeshare place. Dude, just say your squad, fucking name. Dude. Damn it, dude. You think you're oh gonna God, fool a guy on the show? nine four? You're, you're gonna fool a nine four nine with this bullshit? <laughs> yeah. I knew something was yeah. up. Yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah, I don't wow. know. I, and I think most people are pretty sure that they're not in a timeshare. <laughs> <laughs> dude, yeah, but like, how's it looking, man? Like, uh, are you interested? Yeah, dude, yeah, right, right. One of your buddies shot a huge load all over the wall. We just want to figure out who yeah, was Yeah, we want to know who your friend is with the monster loads, Luke. Who is it? Oh, right. man, which one of them? Which one of them? So many oh, guys to man. choose from. So many Too many guys. to choose from. Yeah, how, how you doing, dog? I am. Uh, I am good. I. Uh, I was just at work, and uh, I think we just got like uh, hacked by the Chinese because uh, we were about to send all this money, and uh, Hong Kong's on us. Okay, we got servers all up our ass, guys. I really gotta go. Okay, I got. I got problems to solve, dude. I gotta call the FBI. Uh, Wait for real? Yeah, like I just found this out, and uh, I was like, the guy was like, "Hey, I was just about to click the, my mouse, and I saw this." And now we're like Whoa. pulling it back, and it looks like our servers and stuff. And guess what? I'm the only one at our company that knows. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, Whoa! So I gotta go. All right, later, uh, dude. But, uh, dude, hey, wait. Um, oh man, guys, you guys are freaking legends, dude. Oh, thank you. I listen to this thing every week. I freaking love it. I mean, I can't even. I think. Joe, dude, uh, I'm here in Chicago, man. I'm trying to monitor your Twitter, dude. I'm trying to see you out of here. Dude, he went to the uh, bathroom. Oh, listen, uh, I love you, bros, dude. Keep it up, dude. The dude. Stoke could never be higher, dude. Love you, dude. National, dude. Sto na national Stoke levels are rising, okay? Nah, That's nice. awesome, dude. Thank Th you, brother. Thanks for taking love the call. You dudes. Good luck, dude. dude. Love you, too. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. All right, later, dog. Peace, dudes. Bye. Hannah just called. Should we call her real quick? Yeah. Should we try to prank her? Yeah, yeah let's prank her. <laughs> <laughs> and she knows we're calling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get her good. <laughs> Dude, she's gonna be so confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. What's up? <clears throat> oh, hello, is this Hannah? Hannah Dickinson? Yeah. Why are you talking like that? This is my voice all the time, and I have a. a this isn't about my voice, but whatever. Um, you you recently rented a timeshare from me and my partner in Lake Havasu, and you and your friends wrecked it and one of your friends either jizzed or squirted everywhere he jizzed he jizzed it was jizz um, it was a huge well, load miss dickinson huge well yeah my friends do good work whoa nice nice how did we get you? you yeah did we get you were you pranked i mean no you didn't you call from a private number next time yeah, we're getting better as we go along now. We'll figure it out. Pranking's hard. Then we'll get you good. <laughs> Why are you pranking? Are you, is it just what you're doing now? We're, well, we're doing the podcast. We're stretching our legs on the podcast and trying to try out different stuff. Guys, I get a lot of requests to be on your podcast. This well, doesn't count as a guest, does it? You're on right now. The floor is yours. Whoa. Well, how, how are you calling me? We've got like a uh, thing here specific yeah it's a cord i'm a tech guy the thing is uh tech for cord hannah, who's on the um, phone hannah oh hey hannah this is joe oh hey joe what's up oh not much i just went to pee now i'm back well joe you didn't seem very excited to see me when i saw you at the comedy store no i didn't uh, you were, i saw you for like a second you were like running around like miss busybody what? I don't know. You were just like, I, well, you didn't stop. I was working. All right. You know. Well, are you in town thing? still? No, I'm in New York. How was that cluster fest? It was all right. It was fun. I guess it was, it was fun. It was great. Yeah, I saw you change your answer once you realized you were being recorded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing I say is going to be honest from this point out. What else is good? Can you give any advice to the young stokers out there, Hannah? What about what? Um, it's life. Life. I don't know. Carry deodorant with you. That's good. Small. Yeah, I started it's getting, hot. 
Yeah, it was a lot I of B.O. smell here. Yeah. I started getting stinky yesterday. I, like I got it. really stinky in San Francisco. Do you like it when a guy smells a little bit? Because I, I like when I smell a little bit. No. I feel like it... No one likes your smell, JT. But the the pheromones, the, isn't it like, for like ladies, isn't it like it, it ignites... B.O. is not pheromones. Yeah, B.O. is... <laughs> yeah, she's not talking That's about That's probably it. a good thing for me to hear and for other people to hear, too. Yeah. Well, JT, do you also like your own fart smell? I could see that. No, I don't. I don't like farts at yeah, all. In I... fact... I don't fart, and no one in my life farts. Dude, literally, <laughs> Chad and I have never farted in front of one another. We've been, I could never. See that. We've been the... friends for years, and we've never farted in front of one another. Never. And, and still, That's because you haven't had sex yet. Yeah. Right, wink, wink. No, we have. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We have boned. You were there directing, <laughs> Hannah. <laughs> and suck it. <laughs> I stole that from David Tell. Um... Well, this has been fun, boys. You didn't get me, but nah. Next time, next, next time, time, call from a private number and. Nah, I don't want to be dishonest. Yeah, We're, we'll get you with the social security thing and say that you owe the IRS like five grand. That is true. So you could get me on that. Nice. Okay, good. We'll be ready because it's coming. Good to know. Um, All right. And I always swallow my load, so that would never happen Whoa. Dude, a better life. strong sign off you just turned <laughs> you just turned on a lot of the listeners yeah well tell them to follow me bye <laughs> bye, hannah. bye hannah good talking to you see, ya. see you at the comedy <laughs> store <laughs> anybody else guys are we good i think uh, that was good right yeah that was good that was fun yeah that was a lot of Dude, fun. good move good new uh calling people i guys think calling people is fun you guys yeah. try to prank hannah too yeah nice didn't go so, great. Yeah, she, <laughs> she knows I my think, number. Yeah, yeah. I think one Stoker suggested doing like movie scene of the week. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we could. I mean, we have a meeting to get to. Yeah, soon, dude, but. we could call someone and act out our side of the movie scene, and then just have them like not knowing how to respond to it. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, that could be the way we prank people by like acting on them. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, that's great. Um. All right, I gotta go yeah. eat. I think from now, call in episodes are gonna be calling out episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll curate who we call a little bit. But we appreciate the stokers that called in. We love you guys. Thanks for so much for calling in, guys. It was great stuff. And Hudson, I uh, appreciate the tenacity, dude. You know, I love you. Um, yeah, sorry, I got like, I was a little mean to him. Yeah, I felt yeah. kind of aggro towards him, but yeah. Yeah. deeply apologize. But I'm yeah. just not used to it. Quit messaging yeah. the broads. Yeah, you or know. it's. I think. Sally can handle it, but no, yeah, she yeah. can't. <laughs> well, she hasn't said I anything. Know, I think so. she thinks it's funny. Yeah. If right. it gets to a point, then yeah. Then, but I think at this point, it's still pretty innocent and fun. Yeah, and, Hud- and new. Yeah, sorry if we got aggro with you, Hudson. Sorry, dog. <clears throat> Guys, as always, we are brought to you by Manscaped. Making sure your trims are pubed. Making sure you take a nice razor to your nuts, and you don't cut your nuts. You just cut the hair, and you make it look good, like a freaking garden gnome, in christmas time trims are pubed trims are pubed okay yeah what yeah i'm down do you have you manscaped recently yeah I, yesterday actually oh, i remember you said you're doing that yeah 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 you only have to do it what like four times a week to keep it <laughs> pretty well taken care of yeah it grows thick yeah <laughs> guys, Damn, you're an avid manscaped this was super yeah. fun yeah uh thank you guys for listening and uh yeah See you guys later. Yeah, fun times. Boom clap, Stokers. Later, guys. If you need advice, these guys are.